Hello, Danny Mullen. How are you? Um, you know, I was doing pretty good until I encountered overweight Fez at the front door. That is that is pretty accurate. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Oh, my God. Let's get him on the couch, Leo. I, don't yeah, I heard he's with... a fan. I heard he's a fan of ours. Get, sit on the couch. He's, he's very nice. He's, he's from Nicaragua. Oh, this is great. We love our Latinos. It's actually strange. You know how sometimes people think that the earth is bigger than the sun because the sun looks so small? I yeah. think he might be bigger than Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like you ate a Nicaraguan. <laughs> ah, yeah, you do. <clears throat> you guys, uh, Nicaragua. It's a good country, man. Have you ever been to Nicaragua? This is a hard to figure out, I know. Yeah, he's from Central America, Leo, so we got to give him a couple extra beats on everything. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the headphones, they're, uh, you know, they're stock. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I know that they're... He's, in my country, we have Campbell's soup cans. We put them over <laughs> the ear, and you can hear better. <laughs> yeah, he's not used to this. So what's up, man? What's your name? My name is Jeff Samora. Jeff Samora. Wait, what, say that again? Jeff Samora. So your parents gave you an, a name like Jeff? Why would they do that to you? Well, it's actually the, the real name is Jefferson, like the Thomas Jefferson. That's kind of cool. Uh, they yeah. named you after Thomas Jefferson? Uh. No. So that funny story is like this. Um, so my mom, it's always been an Americanized woman. Her name is Juliet. Dope. So when she find out that I was, she was getting her second boy, she, uh, my firstborn brother was actually Jerry. Okay. I was some American name, but Jay. <laughs> So we decided with J name. So the, the next J name we, they came encounter was like the president name for uh-huh. Thomas Jefferson. Nice. So it's like Jefferson it is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, dude, when you come over for like dinner, does your mom, is she one of those like Latino moms who's like, my big boy, he loves to eat and she feeds you? Or is it more like, <laughs> yeah. hey, Gordo, why are you so Gordo? Why <laughs> no. are you Gordo? No, no. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. So, which no, one is it? Be honest. No, like. For us, it's always been, we always have like uh, not so many visitors at home in mm-hmm. our main household growing up. Nice. It was always just our, our family and okay. just our dinner table, which was me, my brother, my, my sister, and my other brother. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's so weird to actually talk about stuff like this because nobody ever asked me this. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Leo asked you if your mom fattened you up <laughs> or if she verbally abuses you for getting fat. That is oh, the question no. in simpler terms. <laughs> did you ask about his siblings, Leo? I, I didn't. I didn't. I did not ask <laughs> no, about your yeah, siblings. She always comes out and every time talk, talk about like, stuff like that. So you, but like, you sound like you're almost related to Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, you wanna, I definitely I, I, I identify myself as Pedro a lot. Dude, he, he is like a fat Pedro. I, dude, Fez from that 70s show. Dude, I know. He's really that a fat Fez. Dude. Fat you're both Fez. of them. It's crazy, bro. It really is. I, you know, on this podcast, we like to just have salt of the earth, gentlemen. We don't have big, we don't like having big guests. No. We like and having, God knows they're all knocking down the doors to get on here. They are, dude. Well, actually, we have sort of a, of a, of a big-ish guest today that Nico really wants to take credit for, for getting on the pod because he DM'd him and he responded to Nico, this guy. Weird. Weird. Yeah, he responded that to Nico. Suspicious. Morgan J. We'll meet him later on. Um, but you, Fez, I don't know. We got to give him a name now, Danny. You know how it is. What do we give him? Because I feel like this guy is a good find. Austin? Yeah, what do you, you know, we look for people like you sometimes, just, you know, very intellectual individuals with a lot going for their, you know, in, the, in their lives. Uh, a lot of things that are just quality about them. I, I was going to say we should call him Fat Fez, but he is very, <laughs> very nice and he's a very sweet fan. He is. And I'm sorry, like, this is always how it works with me. I, yeah. I'm just super pleasant and nice to him when I walk through the door off mic. And the second the mic heats up, bam. A switch flips, and I'm like, hey, you fat piece of shit. Go back to Central. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just roasting you, buddy. Yeah. I think we call him, though, to be nicer. Uh, maybe Fez squared or Fez cubed. Fez cubed is perfect. I think Fez cubed because he's more than two Fezes. Yeah, he's he's definitely. Yeah, you're more than you're three or four. Cubed is four, I believe. So, yeah, that's right. It's to the power of three. I thought cubed? it was to the power of three. Oh, uh, who you, knows? Can you pull up Fez from that 70s show? Dude, you are, this guy um, gets a lot of pussy nowadays. I think so, he does. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. So, Fez Cubed, thank you so much. You're going to keep hanging out on the couch with us. And Wilmer, Wilmer Valderrama, right? Wilmer Valderrama, Valderrama, that's right. Funny Damn. story. I have actually a funny story about that. I met Wilmer Valderrama in the oh, he's met this guy. Sherman Oaks Calderia a long time ago when really? he was sitting. Uh, What's the name of that red-haired girl that she was in there, too? The girl from that 70s show. What's her oh, name? Yeah, no, no, I forget no, her name. Not no, 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 Rhonda. She was... Um, it doesn't matter. She was... 
uh, what's her name? I can. It picture. doesn't matter. A friend of mine dated him too, and apparently right. he's like jacked now. <laughs> yeah, he but is. she she dated him when she was like kind of young, and he was like way older. Okay, yeah. so what's the story? What happened at the mall? Uh, in the in Chamonix Calleria, we met in that in the movie theater, and I asked her about when he was dating. You met the chick from that '70s show in a movie no, no, theater. No, no, it was not about drama. Okay, you, you met you, you said her, but you met him in yeah, a movie. Him, I bet he appreciate yeah. Leo. Don't you think he was watching Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. the Dead Man's Chest, and Fez cubed over here leans <laughs> over like, "Hey, I love your work in the movie <laughs> and, and on the show." He's like, "Fuck, man, I'm just trying to get away." I'm and he's trying to he get has away. He has no accent when he's talking. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's like, "Ah, fuck, I'm just trying to get away." This guy thinks I'm one of those guys. It's like I am my character. He's like, ah, "Cool kid, yeah, you want an autograph yeah. or something, man?" No, no, I am not mocking you. I am from Nicaragua. I don't I... speak like that, dude. Are you are you fucking no, pretending I'm, to I'm... act like Fez, dude? Because I'm not Fez. Fez isn't real, you idiot. Oh, milk it, dud. Hey, pop it. Don't oh. take my fucking oh, sorry. fat mother. Was that how the interaction went? I will say so, yeah. What really <laughs> happened? I gotta know now. We got other stuff to talk about. Leo's birthday. Woo. We got a show tonight. Right. We got a guest. Thanks, brother. But I gotta hear what happened in this movie theater. Well, my brother Roman was a switch guy when he was dating. Uh, oh my God, can I picture It doesn't matter who he was dating. Listen, it was the red-haired girl from the 70s show. We got the gist of it. Now yes. tell us what happened with the conversation. And you. It went down like this. It pretty much I asked him, oh my God, you what about drama? I'm a big fan of the 70s show. And he was actually a really cool guy during the moment. But it, I mean, it, ever since I asked him who he was dating during that time, mm -hmm. I it kind of switched gears and he was like, okay, well, I got to go. We got a, a show to watch. I'm like, okay, so we'll see you Fez later. Cubed. When did you come over from Nicaragua? It was actually a long time ago, uh, back in 2000s, I believe. 2001? 2000s. Just oh, that was the 10-year period. Sort it out, Leo. <laughs> okay. Two thousand. It could have been any. All right. It could have been like two. It could have been up till last year. I yeah. Mean, it doesn't yeah. sound like he's specifying the 2010s. Yeah. Was no, it? No, I legit came back in 2000, right after 1999. Oh, okay. So 2000. Okay. Yes. Sometime. All right. So you did you learn English in Nicaragua or here? Actually, I learned a little bit of English back in Nicaragua. We had lessons, and kid nice. from seventh grade and up, we have lessons. Yeah, your English is, you know, it's um, it's not that good having been here for twenty three years. No, it's not. <laughs> you guys, you call your fellow Nicaraguans like my Nikas or no? My fellow Nikas, where it was. <laughs> yeah, you you hanging out with your Nikas, dog. You know what I mean? Like just you and your Nikas. That's Hell yeah, dog. Nikas all the way, bro. My wow. Nikas, dude. Wow. Is there... Um, yeah. That, that's, that's cool. That's, um, that's interesting. You ever get in trouble saying things like that anywhere in Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh, well, I... Funny story. <laughs> so I used to... I went to a, a trade school... Why did this turn into an interview? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. The plan was to start with... Continue. I want to hear about the trade school. Yeah, now we, now we have to know. Where did you go to trade school? Job now this is just. Center. Okay. Well, so it was an Island Empire Job Corps Center, and I believe that. And what, what kind of I trade was, were you trying to learn? Yeah. Uh, computer majors, as, as computer science. Nice. Okay. Did you ever get a job in, 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 in that industry? No. Yeah. This, is, this is how we just explained what he was majoring in. Uh, computer science. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were very passionate about the trade. I know it was. It didn't work well. Was there a general plan, or was it one of those things where, like, you were sitting with your families and and and, your, and like your mom was like, you know, I was thinking, and uh, the future is the computers. You have to go learn the computers, <laughs> and you're like, okay, mama, I will go to computer sciences. <laughs> was it sort of like that, or because I mean, you never followed up with it, so it was kind I of a waste know. of time. It was a definite waste of time. Would you agree that it was a great waste of time? It was a waste. The of trade time. school was a giant waste of time. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Leo. I mean, now we can boot up a Macintosh. <laughs> can no, you? Was for sure. It was Did probably a, it was probably in the back pages of the L.A. Times. Remember the penny <laughs> saver. And it would just learn computer science with a bunch of misspelling and typos in the ad. Send us a, a cashier's check for $50,000 and we'll get you a job in Silicon Valley. Oh, oh, Fez Cubed, we will go into debt for this. It don't matter the cost. You are our only hope. Dude, did your mom pay for these classes or was it you? Oh, no, it was free. It was by a government program. Okay. You took advantage of the government? A little bit then, would you say? Bit, yeah. Are you a legal resident of this country, I'm, I'm, Fezcu? I'm, I'm legal. Are, Are you I an American her? citizen? I'm okay. American citizen. Let me citizen. see your ID. Probably. Let oh. me see your ID. Throw me your entire wallet. I'm going to look at his weight, Leo. I want to make sure it didn't lie. All right. 
We're looking at his height and his weight. He's got a Naruto on his wallet. That's why he likes these guys. That's why he gets along with Austin and Dino. Okay, this is a really good picture. I like it. Let me see it too, Leo. His weight. Well, um... Let me see it too. Let's look at the picture. Okay. His weight. Yeah, you know... The picture is... I would say you look better now. I would say this is not flattering. So we're going to play a little game called Guess Fez Cube's Weight. <laughs> I saw it. So I think it's, uh, it's Austin. It's kind of up to you because you got okay, the mic. Okay, ready? Austin and Dino. <laughs> yes. Dino, just say it loudly. Like loudly so we can hear it. 325. Okay. Dino. 350. Okay. Well, let's get a round of applause because our man Fez Cubed weighs less than both of you assumed and Woo. is more, therefore, healthy. How? 325? 320? Really, Austin? Yo, as someone who weighs like 100 pounds, it's hard for me to, to even gauge. Ca- yeah. gauge. I get it. Above, you know, 200. How much do you weigh, actually, exactly? I weigh 128 right okay. now. Okay. Well, he's not quite three of you. He is a 301 pounds. As of this ID photo. And you were born in 1985? That's Holy right. shit. Oh, you look great, dude. Latinos, man, you age you age well, you know, as I you know, as I have as well. Let's be honest. <laughs> I am okay. 37 today. So happy birthday. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Six one? Six one Fez cubed? Six one. You didn't uh, you didn't fudge that number a little bit? I think there was some upward and downward pressure on the weight and height. I think height got pushed upwards and weight got pushed down. I mean, 301 is one of those numbers that you use to lie about your weight. You know what I mean? Like, what is 301? What, you weigh yourself that morning? Like, why 301 pounds? You know what I mean? Like, 301? Really? Like, what? what, why did you come to that number? Did you weigh yourself like... You're right, Leo. That's a panic number. It's a panic number. That's when they ask you, so what is your weight? Oh, oh, Uh, it's 301. Yeah, exactly. It's a panic number. It's code for 348 pounds. Exactly. (laughs) That's what it really means. Now, he does have a picture, a very cute picture with Santa Claus. Oh, you're going through his wallet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he has a picture with Santa Claus. <laughs> his, his sister? Is this your sister and you? No, those are my first nieces. Ah, that's really cute. What happened to them? Did their father die in battle? No, no, no. They, they, they're okay. They live with their father and mother back in oh, the yeah. valley. Well, you said first nieces. It makes it sound like they're no longer part of your life. Uh, well... They're, they're young teenagers now, so they're doing their thing now. I think it's really cute that you have a picture of, uh, of your nieces in there, uh, but let's you. continue. Yeah, Leo, keep digging around in I'm there. digging. All right, we got a patient identification. Okay, you got you got some, some health care. This is good. This is good. Let me see that. Go ahead. It looks like one of those shady, it's a little bit valley care. It could be like, you know, you're going to a shady clinic and they're yeah, going to. I have. And Jeff. you know what it is? It's it's one of those dandy, it's like they use it to train young doctors. Like yeah. he for sure goes to one of those. Sure, 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 Why sure, not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say this, Jeff. I, Leo, you might be interested in this too. So my dad's house up in Tahoe is in a fire zone and it's really hard to get it insured. Some of the neighbors, they will not give them fire insurance because it's a near certainty that their houses will someday burn down. Damn. Jeff, if I were Kaiser Permanente or State Farm or Progressive or one of these, I'm not sure that I would give you health insurance due to the relative certainty that one day you will collapse from a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so, yeah. I'm sorry about Fest that. Fest cubed, you know, because I like you, we're going to help you not have a heart attack here. I'm well, I've been, I've been hanging around Fez cubed Hell for yeah. a while now because i met him at the trading card stores and i think i've narrowed down the problem area jeff Let's it's hear it. milkshakes okay and soda Ooh, okay. you're one of the soda drinkers He's the, he likes uh, sugar i saw I, I saw you pick up this cake in the grocery store Ooh, 199 <laughs> hey listen i have i am just thoroughly confused by something in your wallet right now what do you, you got leo he's got the card to a t-mobile rep I say we call him up right now and <laughs> and oh, uh, I say we, I, How about we pretend we're him? He, oh yeah, what do you think we were gonna do, Danny boy? You're up, buddy. It's gonna be you. Your accent was right on. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's yeah, give a call. yeah. We're gonna have to give this good this good, Marlon a call. Let's All give him right? a call. Let's see. Yep, we got his number a hundred percent. All right. Should we do it? Yeah, I'll fire it up. We'll see if it works. And then we're gonna talk to you about your diet, buddy, because milkshakes and. Soda is one thing, 
Because some people are foolish <laughs> enough to believe that soda is just part of a regular meal in this country. The cake and the milkshake is unacceptable. Also, we now have another Flips Collectibles. I don't know who, should, who we should call because we have another option. Let me call the T-Mobile <laughs> <laughs> It's probably out of service by now. I have not called that number in years. Oh, well, perfect. Well, you're calling it today. I, you, you're so, your cards are pretty <laughs> interesting. You got Vons Club. You got an L.A. public library card. You're a real L.A. boy, dude, because I had an old Vons, because I'm your age, dude, and Vons Club is like, there's not even that many Vons anymore. No, you know no, what no, I mean? No. Like, <laughs> I think this is just the Spanish line. I think it went right to the Spanish. You got a receipt for seven dollars and eleven cents. All right. Thank you for calling to Mobile Homes and you and two homes fifty. Hello, my name is Jeff. <laughs> Hello, okay. I I have it, the phone and I drop and now the screen. Is cracked. Okay, let me transfer the question. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break for a second to tell you about Z Biotics. It's a pre alcohol probiotic drink. Now, what does it do? It acts like your liver in your gut. You know what I'm saying? Which is where you need it. Not, you know what I'm saying? By the time it gets to your liver, it might be too late. Um, so you have for, this is for best results. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. So you understand. And then I'm going to tell you how I felt and I've used it five times now. So I actually have a, a very good sense of what it does. So for best results, make z your first drink of the night. Okay. So you drink it, tastes good. <clears throat> then drink responsibly folks, pace yourself, hydrate and get a good night's sleep. Cause that helps, right? We're, we're, we're about health here. Now, I, you know, I got to drink like, you know, sometimes because I'm entertaining people at a comedy show. But the next day I want to work out. I want to get after it. z helps me do that. Step three, enjoy tomorrow. Wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Um, you know, uh, it, it's I'm not telling you to like drink z and then go like crazy and get hammered and then you're not going to feel like crap the next day. I'm telling you to drink responsibly. It, it's just giving you that extra edge where you're you're just more refreshed than you think than you would have been. Um, I was amazed Uh, every time I've taken Z-Biotics before uh, comedy shows where I I like to have, you know, sometimes I I see you guys, you guys have been to my comedy shows. I have three, four tequila shots, maybe even, you know, uh, I add another cocktail or two. And, you know, I'm amazed at how good I feel the next day. I don't bounce back as good as I used to, man. I'm 37 years old, for God's sakes. I'm just telling you. Zbiotics acts like your liver in your gut. Now, what exactly is in it? Um, so when you drink alcohol, it gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough, your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct na- byproduct down. I like things backed by science. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you you do too, but that's just me. Um, it's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut. All right, so. <clears throat> Labor Day weekend is right around the corner, so make sure you stock up before the long weekend. Your friends and family will thank you. Labor Day's coming up, boys and girls. You know you're going to have a few drinks. Um, so <clears throat> go to zbiotics.com slash LDS to get 15% off your first order when you use LDS at checkout. Go to zbiotics.com slash LDS to get 15% off your first order when you use LDS at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code, LDS, so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money bank care, money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That's pretty dope, right? They believe in their product if they're doing that, right, folks? Uh, go check it out. I've used it. I really like it. Check it out. Boba place, dude. Uh, go Boba. Because he's been there three times, dude. <laughs> Buddha Boba. Yeah. <laughs> Best Boba in the Valley. Hell yeah, Check dude. it out. <laughs> that was gross. I like the Boba sometimes. Those little balls. You chew them up. Yeah, those little balls. Yeah, I little balls in my mouth, you know. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 
speaker. Uh, hello. Hi, my name is Jeff. I come in three times this month for the Bulba. Uh, I just feel... We, we were closed for a while. But we're not reopening with the school hours. That's good right because now. I have a loyalty card. And I figure because I have the loyalty card, I thought this was a good number to call. I just feeling lonely, I guess. And I'm thinking about taking my own life. Well, I would recommend the suicide hotline. And I'm not a professional to deal with that. I would suggest you call that one. Uh, the internet is out. I can't find the number. Hello? Hello? Dude, we got to blow Buddha Boba. Buddha Boba just hung up on Fine. somebody desperately in need of help. Not only that, a loyalty customer. Oh, my God. Three times? You got three stamps. You've got... You put your fucking... You... This is This is bullshit. This is the United States government not housing an Iraq veteran with no legs. <laughs> That's what this is right now. Listen, um, what are you going to do about that? I, I think that you should just cease going to Buddha Boba from now on. Would you agree? I agree. I mean, have you ever felt lonely and called someone like that? Like, look, yeah, yeah, it's over for Buddha it's Boba. Over. You can't go there anymore. <laughs> It's time for Jamba Juice, buddy. Yeah. Jamba but Juice will take your call in time of days. You don't need those little boba balls anymore, man. Just move past the good the, the boba balls, man. That's always the other ones. Well, watch <laughs> this. You know what? Jamba Juice, that's a true American corporation. Yeah. I bet you right now yeah. that Fez Cubed can call Jamba Juice and tell him he's going to kill himself, and they will hear him out. All right, let's do it. I put, I'll put fucking, I'll put, I'll put 20 bucks on it. I'll put 20 bucks that they won't. You're on, my man. All right, dude. I think it's, it's got to be you, though. You got to do it. You got to make the call because there's truth in your voice, my friend. There's truth. You're going to call Jamba Juice right now, and I'm going to help I'll you. I'll do it on the system. And you're going to say, yeah, do it on the system so we can all talk. You're going to be, uh, his, you're going to be his father, and I'm going to be his other father. <laughs> He's going to yeah. have two gay parents. I think Leo, that might be overcomplicated. It is. It is. I think we maybe let Jeff talk them through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to ask you a That's couple fair. of things. Oh, if they're the company that I think they are, they're going to ask you a few things. Yeah. How long you've been feeling suicidal yeah. if you're planning on taking your own life and you got to have answers to those questions my man All right. because you've had some weird answers to some previous questions for me and leo and there's some money on the line now so this is serious all right, all right? so hey listen i want you to tell them a real serious story too like about you about you being one. fat shamed since fat shaming is in the news right now lizzo's fat shaming people in her own you know That's we true. fat shamed you unfortunately um, I say you tell them a story about a time you're fat shamed and then and then say that you kind of want to kill yourself and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. But this is really just to test Jamba Juice. We're almost like secret shoppers. Who Dude, we are. Jamba Juice is I mean, Maybe that is. Jamba. Did you know you can order ahead on our mobile app and we will have the order ready when you arrive? See, you that's the kind of company Jamba is. Buddha Baba would month. never have a mobile app. The app store to download you could the never Jamba order app. ahead. If you need to speak with a team member or place an order, please press. We also, we also know his laundry, his laundry place next. They'll be too Asian. <laughs> Here we go. You're gonna kill yourself, buddy. Sell it. <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> Tell him you love the razzmatazz. <laughs> He looks so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at him, dude. <laughs> Fez cubed. I believe in you, Fez cubed. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Come on, Jamba. Come on, Jamba. Come on, Jamba. They'll be there. They'll be at the phones in just a moment. The demand for their smooth. Hello, is this Jamba Juice? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Well, you, I love your asthma test juice as I think it's one of the best drinks I always order. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I also want to say that I've been feeling kind of lonely lately, feel attack, feel ashamed of my way, and I feel like I should kill myself. I don't know. What should I do? Um, well, I don't know if we could talk about this on the phone, but... 
but I feel lonely. I, I need somebody to talk to. Maybe you can help me out. Hello? Oh no, I think I might do it today. Can I talk to your manager? Hello. Um. Well, the wait. What was your question again? I just feel like lonely. I don't know what to do. Oh well, this is suicide hotline. I don't know if like you could call this number. You know. Okay. Uh, can, can I get it? Um. I'm so sad and lonely. I'm overweight, way to be like 500 pounds, like Lisa, and I have nothing to do with my life. <laughs> Can I barely move? I think it might be over. they were gonna give you the fucking money dude dude that might be a draw i thought i mean yeah that is a, i would say because she at least mentioned the number uh it is a draw i wanted him to then do an improvised song like can i sing a song for you and then like you play the guitar <laughs> while he sings dude. about killing himself yeah exactly oh my god oh, that been sweet. should i hang myself or slit my wrists i'm not sure how i I got nothing. Dude. Yeah. That's fucking. I'm sorry. Um, Fez Cube, dude. I let's mean, just hope they didn't call the cops. Fez yeah. Cube, you are one of those guys like Fogel from, you know, Super Bad, where if you audition for a role and they're looking for someone like you, you're going to book it because you can't be someone, you can't be fake. Like Jonah Hill, like he gets cast in every, any funny film that he ever gets, but I feel like now he can't get any gigs because now he's skinny as hell. He thinks he's hot now, which you're not. You're not hot, Jonah Hill. You know what I mean? <laughs> Newsflash, Jonah Hill. Just because you got skinny doesn't mean you got good looking, buddy. It no. doesn't work like that. All right. In fact, he's probably even worse looking now because there are grocery bags of fat just dangling loose. Not fat anymore. <clears throat> loose skin, rather. Well, he's rich, so he might be able to get the surge. What if he didn't, though? They clip it. Because the surge, it still looks weird afterward. There's scars. I mean, there are scars, but I mean, whatever. I mean, scars, you know, can get a tan. You can get some, you know, you can sure. get some work done. Sure, sure, you know sure. What, I mean? what would you do if you were really fat and then you had to lose the weight? I mean, honestly. Well, let's talk about it. Fez Cubed, we want to get you on the path to becoming Fez Squared. Yes, we want you. A transformation video is coming in the future. Oh, we might have to take you to Nicaragua so you can see what the skinny Nicaraguans are doing. <laughs> They're all pretty damn skinny. <laughs> I think you should live with a Nicaraguan, like in a village in Nicaragua for like a month. That would do it. I think Nashitlan would be the best city that I know that everybody is super skinny because everybody's starving in there. That's what you need. That's, That's where you need to go. You dude. do need to, you need to voluntarily inject yourself into the third world. <laughs> Okay, I Again? Think, I think, yeah. uh, forget South Beach, dude. Forget Jenny Craig. You need the third world diet. Yeah. You, you want need me to go, go back, back home. to a country where I get kidnapped at least twice in a lifetime when I, I was a kid? Wait, what? You got kidnapped in Nicaragua? Oh, yeah. So it's uh, actually told us in this story. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break for a second to remind you about one of my favorite things, people, 
supporting our podcast. Hello, Fresh. Now I'm going to remind you what they say about their products because I I want you to hear it from the the mouth. Okay, let me start again. Jesus Christ, that was so bad. All right, you ready? Uh, whatever. Blah blah blah. Hey guys, wanted to take a break for a second to remind you about Hello Fresh. Now you guys have been checking it out because it's a ridiculous deal, and uh, it's just shocking that more haven't checked it out yet. You know yet. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portion ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Now, what's shocking to me about it, it's cheaper than going to the grocery store in LA for me. It is shocking how cheap it is, in fact. So check it out and you do the math. Do Check out what you're paying per meal and then tell me it's not cheaper than what you get at the market. Now, I'm not saying it's cheaper than you know where you're at. You know, I don't know where you are all over America, but in L.A., it's definitely more affordable than going to the supermarket, buying all the ingredients and making the food at home. Um, Falls right around the corner. HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. I uh, I like their beef stir fry right now. I'm really into it. Um, It's easy to cook with their recipes. A lot of them are done and they're ready to go in 15 minutes. Guys, they just send you a box with phenomenal ingredients and they have, they have the cards with the recipes right on them, five steps, two, three steps, and you got a great meal. It's insanely, it's an insanely good deal they're giving uh, us here as well. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Leo Danny. That's five zero Leo Danny and use code 50 Leo Danny for 50% off plus free shipping. You guys hear me? Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Leo Danny and use code 50 Leo Danny for 50% off plus free shipping. All right. And HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, guys. It's a ridiculous deal. Check it out. The ingredients are amazing. There's really no reason why you shouldn't be picking up one of these boxes. Austin's getting getting one this week. Are you not? Yeah, he is. Our producer's getting one. Peace, guys. So when I was nine and I was going to school, we went to the arcade. We, it's really nearby to our school for some damn reason. Mm. And I was just playing video games against my buddy. And like, literally, a, general, a guy, like, twice our height, comes over and like, hey, yo, you guys wanted some video games and we're going to come to my place. And I'm like, wait, weren't you already at the arcade? We were at the arcade, but this guy wanted you guys to play his house. Danny, you think this guy's ever said no to anything? <laughs> Dude, Fez Cube would just be like, hey, you want to go and fucking rob a Burger King? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Por que no? Por que no? Yes. Por que no? I go for, yes, this I can is, have. This is how easy it would be for me to have sex with Fez Cubed right now. Oh, hey, Fez, you know, I've got uh, snow cone in my apartment. Yeah, it's really tasty. <laughs> I bet. Crunchy yeah. ice with sugar? Come on! Crusty as hell, maybe? Hey. What is it? What do they call it in there? What's the Mexican version of that? It's like uh, a raspado. A raspado. If I had a raspado mm-hmm. and I took you over to my apartment, but so, when we got there, there there wasn't any raspado, and I just punched you in the face and raped you. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Danny, it'd be even easier. You you know those elotes, like those fucking, those corns with just like some chili and cheese on yeah, them? Yeah, You could just hold one in front of him and he would just follow you all wow, the way home, dude. Wow, wow, wow. He would wow. just follow you all the way home and then you could just Wow, him. like in a cartoon when there's a $100 bill on a fishing line. Yes. But with him, it's elote. Yes, an elote. Do you like elote, Jefferson? I actually don't. I really enjoy the snow cone. cone would be it's better. Really based. Snow cones are pretty bad. I have trouble believing you turned out food ever, <laughs> Jefferson. How, what are we going to do to get you on track to be a winner? I think first of all, you should be not hanging around this house unless I, you're in Aaron's room. Do you smoke weed? Funny enough, I've been around them all my life, and I never have any interest on it. That's, that's good, dope. because that's what I was worried about you getting into. All right, so if you don't you're smoke weed. You're not making weed. you smoke weed, Austin? No. If all you right. don't smoke weed, then don't even, you're good, and you can hang out with these guys. You can hang out here. Because they don't eat often. They don't definitely don't eat very often. That's good. That's I actually, repeat them. What, what they do eat <laughs> is shit, but they don't eat enough of it. That's the problem, is if Dino takes 
Jefferson to a 7-Eleven and yeah. he gets one bag of Takis, Jefferson might be like, oh, this must be nutritional and he'll get 10. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be like, if he needs one, then I need... Damn, <laughs> that's Diaz in Spanish. Dude, if we had big budget though, I mean, we're on a flight to Nicaragua tomorrow, bro. And you're going to go to the, the very shady village. But wait, you got kidnapped. So this man, I think you were. they were going to sex traffic you. I think Most that's likely. where. How did you get away? So how it happened, is I just walked away from the situation. I, as soon as I know this guy was not going to do what, what I thought he was going to do. He was going to do something else. I was like, no, man. How did you know? How did you know he wasn't going to do what he said? Because I was a fucking grown ass man. I did not know. So I'm oh, like, get God. the fuck out of here. Were you kind of excited about playing Sonic the Hedgehog at first? I wanted to. But then he was like, yeah, the, the, he hedge was, oh, the he hedgehog the hedgehog. is in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, oh, no. Is that how it went, Jeff? Is, so wait, you were you like kind of like kind of pumped that like somebody was showing some sexual interest in you or i was nine I okay no, i forgot nine. you were nine i forgot you're nine <laughs> i mean it, it's got to be flattering though i'm yeah, sure you fat kid that wanted to hang out and play some games yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you probably looked like sonic the hedgehog then i was age. okay so all right well i'm glad you didn't get sex trafficked this is good but um what are, what are the steps you're gonna take to make yourself you know a chad i want you to be a chad as they say. Maybe. I've been going to the gym. I've been working out on my own. That's well, everything you, I can think of. You just of. said you were working out, and then he straightened his toe like a ballet dancer. Yes. Well, you have a big been, calf. Is that what you're trying to show us yeah. about your calf? Have, yeah. have you been doing calf <laughs> raises? Is that all you've been doing at the gym? Uh, Dino, can you shoot his leg right there? Can you do that motion you just did again, Fez Cubed? He keeps doing that when he says working out. Fez Cubed, I don't want to do this to you because I I really like you, honestly. I do and too. We have, yeah, we, we immediately like a guy like you because we can tell you have kindness in your heart and truth in your voice. Oh, boy. Well, you're going to have to take your shirt off right now. This is, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, this is step one, Fez. This is step one. Do you know the progress picks? You know the progress picks that people show? They go, they ha you have to start rock bottom. I'm sorry to do this to you. I love you. But take your shirt off. I don't know if I can do that. Just do it. It's You got to have strength. It's you want to change? You, He's got trauma for being human trafficked, Leo. Yeah, right. It's up to you, Fez. <laughs> it sounds like it was a really kind of, like the story didn't take much of a dark turn. It no, was the, like, other, I was walking, the other kidnapping story is kind of crazy. Oh, okay. God. You got trust another Fez, one? Trust no, Fez to it, give us the shitty twice. kidnapping story. Yeah, why story? would you tell us the story? It's like, I was walking to a guy's house, and then I make a left turn and say bye. <laughs> that was he. No, give us the real hardcore one. Okay, so the second time I tried to kidnap, I was trying to kidnap again. It was when I was 12. And again, it was because I was heading to school. Some dude that was very well known in the neighborhood with a motorcycle wanted us to take us to, to uh, I guess, to school for a ride back. And I'm like, okay, this sounds fun. I like motorcycles. So I ride with him. And little did I know, we were not going to school. We were going to another neighbor, another different neighborhood. Uh -huh. I was like so scared about that. So I decided to make a scene because Jesus. I help, help. Did you feel the and guy's erection on your back <laughs> as he was no. riding tandem with you on the motorcycle? Wait, no, I was not. <laughs> it was more like a, a fright sensation. So this is some middle-aged guy with a mustache. Just, hey, would you like a ride on my mustache. motorcycle? <laughs> but so he was well not man that's creepy the what so these these are the kids that end up like with like on an epstein island dude you could have been one of the kids honestly you're of age you could have been honestly you could have been on that island dude epstein could have been a guy that you got to know real well so what happened you're on a motorcycle speeding in the opposite direction from your school how do you get off i literally just got off from that bike i roll over to the ground i had really? to i just make a it deep. was just you it was just me for now, but like it could have been worse. I yeah. could have been more injured. Right. I did get bruises, but it was nothing big deal. You know, I, I think Fez cubed that maybe you were too quick to barrel roll out of the sex trafficking lifestyle because sex work, yeah, it's demeaning and it's got a bad reputation, but it's a pretty easy lifestyle. I mean, there I are mean, a lot of girls nah, that I, I see. Chopped them to pieces. No, you wouldn't get chopped. I think you would be kind of like Leo said. You would be the staple fat kid on Epstein's Island, <laughs> and there'd be a lot of foreign dignitaries who would be really into you. You got to have one of the what do you call a niche? You know what I mean? 
a niche is how you really in the sex trafficking world is how you really kind of get yourself a name and uh-huh. you can really kind of make some dough you know what i mean maybe on tips i think you just work on tips i'm pretty sure you're like a curvy bbl latina <laughs> That is your niche, okay? And you would have been, they would have been buying you Nerf guns and those big spiral suckers. Uh, You would have had all the candy and toys you wanted, and you just would have had to suck a couple dicks. I don't think it would have been that bad of a life. You look at it, I mean, just on paper, sounds bad. (laughs) Sounds bad. But if you really think about it, you know. There are worse. There are worse gigs. You hear <laughs> miners. Yeah. You hear those. Like, go do some mining work. Go mine for coal. Listen, you know what I mean. Would you want to be a mile underneath the earth in West Virginia with your lung health rapidly deteriorating, mm-hmm. never seeing the light of day, or would you want to be in the penthouse in a hotel in Dubai? I mean, you suck one dick once a week, and that's all the work you got to put in. Yeah, and if you're in Dubai, you might. Sh- they might shit on you. They might take a shit on you. Uh, but when we get showers, dude. Yeah. We nice shower. showers. Probably the view. I mean, even Maybe if they a shit. Pool in the side. Yeah, <laughs> even a pool. Yeah. You could be tanning. You know, if you if you can make them laugh, if your personality is kind of good, maybe they'll just start hanging out with That's you. That's what not, we fat know? people are known for after all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just, I mean, even if he gets his mouth shit in Leo, yeah. this would essentially be his work day. Right. <laughs> oh yeah yeah barf 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 good you're good you're losing weight first of all because you're barfing but also it beats what yeah. dino does for a living beats what dino does yeah yeah no and what he really does now for 40 hours a week you know don't say it but yeah now Fez, but for real now for real if you wanted to do the step one like i'm really glad that you cannot you you have good instincts i can tell that is why you haven't been sex trafficked in Nicaragua. You they know? tried twice. Dude, they must have really wanted a cute, chubby kid. Well, he was probably pretty cute. He's still a kind of a cute guy at, you know, at your, my, you're older than me. That's crazy. You're almost <laughs> 40, bro. You're fucking. Yeah, you look young. You look really young. But you got decent hygiene and stuff, you know? Do you still live with your parents? Be honest. I don't. Uh, my Hell mother yeah. actually lives in Arkansas. Oh, wow. And my, my older brother lives in the Valley, but like, we live in totally separate cities. So where do you live? Oh, do you have a roommate? Uh, no, I, I actually have a roommate, but I live in uh, Arleta. Oh, dope. I know Arleta. What do you yeah. do for a living? Uh, but we used to work in the in works, works center to help people finding the jobs as well. I was working in my uncle's warehouse. And then I got injured where I got my back kind of hurt. And then I went to the, just receiving un- unemployment benefits since then. You're collecting unemployment and disability. Mm-hmm. How long have you been collecting that? Uh, it's been a while now. How many years? Four. <laughs> you haven't lifted a finger in four years. Well, he found the one job easier than being sex trafficked. That's right. Congratulations on that, buddy. You're just sitting back and the dough comes in. How much money do you make a month? Um, I want to say like around, I, was, I pay my rent is 900, so I get like around 15. 1500? Fuck yeah. yeah. Okay, so you got to do a little bit on the side to make some money, don't you yes. though? Okay, because that doesn't go too far. And I know you spend at least 300 of that at the card shop. <laughs> you don't really need a gym membership though, if you want to get in shape. So don't make that excuse. A lot of people are like, I don't have money for the gym. But like, yeah, you don't need the gym. All right. He goes, though. He has one. You got a gym membership. Yeah, yeah. look at his calves, Leo. I mean, you're doing something, man. I'll, t- I'll, I'll tell you what, though. If you don't want to take your shirt off, that's fine. But when I, I wanted you to do it because it makes it'll make you it'll light a fire under your ass, as they say, <laughs> and it'll make you want to lose the weight. But, uh, you know, if you want to come work out with me sometime, I'm down, dude. that will be fun. Let me ask you this, Fez Cubed. Between you and me, nobody else is listening right now. Does your back really still hurt? It does. It does hurt. I'm, I'm actually not on medication right now, but like it was, it was what, whatever. It does go, man. My man, dude. We've we're, got we're uh, rolling Morgan J. So Morgan. Yeah, yeah. We're just yeah, yeah. We like to do the raw, like whenever you come here. Yeah, just do whatever you got to do. Chill, and then whenever you're ready, sit on, sit right next to the man. Yeah, you can move is, over a little uh, bit. Sir. This is we've been calling him Fez Cubed because he's basically a bigger version of Fez from yeah. that seventy show. Talk a little bit just so he gets a gist. My name is Joe. <laughs> and he's he we currently just met this gentleman so he, he collects on uh, un- he collects that one right there unemployment and yeah, give him that mic yeah yeah, yeah. sorry 
Connects, uh, he collects unemployment and uh, disability. Yeah. We've just met him. And we're okay. now we're trying to lightly goad him into losing some weight. We feel it's time. And yeah. I also think it's time for you to re-enter the workforce. It's time. I brought my own mic stuff, too. I don't know if I have time to plug that stuff in. Oh, no worries. Okay, cool. All right. Let yeah. me pop this on. Fez, it is? Yeah, it's hey, Fez, Fez Cube. Fez Cube. Hey, Fez Cube. What's uh, going on, Doug? Hey, Dan. Morgan J, you have a healthy lifestyle. I can tell. I do. I have yeah. a lot, I've gotten way healthier uh, this summer. And uh, Fez Cube is also, I'm not going to lie, man. When he plays his guitar on stage, I've seen it. The women in the crowd, they need to go grab a towel, Fez. When, because uh, they're talking just. About me? Yeah, yeah. You, were, you said Fez Cube. No? Yeah, sorry. Not Fez Cube. You, Morgan J. When he's on stage me. and his guitar is playing, when he's doing jokes on stage, it is, you need to send out towels. Because women are wet, Fez. Do you know about that? Uh, yeah, do you? I have not seen you in any of your work, but I would love to see it. No, he wasn't talking about that. Do you know about getting a woman wet? Oh, yeah. Do you know about needing to lay out some towels? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you know, I, do I, you know yeah. about having to wash your sheets he uh, knows. Uh, my way more pie. often than the average person? He, yeah. he has okay. to lay out towels so do you he doesn't know how to fold a fitted sheet? <laughs> oh, I did not know that way. You don't know how to fold a fitted sheet? No. <laughs> do you know how to fold a fitted sheet? I don't no. know how to fold We're a fitted sheet. I'm not an adult yet. No. No. You know? Fitted sheet? Oh, really? Yeah. No. Nope. Dino, you do not know Nobody how to fold, knows a, how to fold fitted a fitted sheet. sheet. Oh, yeah. Nah. All right. So easier, easier than you think. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> Fez, before we move into any other subject areas, I just want to make sure you're okay. We're just, you know, we're joshing you. Yeah, we're messing around, but I am going to help you lose weight. We do need you to lose some weight because yeah. I'm worried. I just, I don't see any other way your life could end in tragedy if you are 301 pounds and collecting Is that disability. Where you're at right now? Uh, I'm actually 297 right now. 2097? How late am I coming into the podcast? About an hour. Minutes. <laughs> no, no, no. Are we been going an hour? Oh, yeah, no, no, you're right. No, about, yeah. about 45 minutes. 40. Oh, yeah, yeah. snap. All right. My, so I'm coming in late. No, oh, yeah, we go another hour. So okay, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. great, great, great. We like to split it up a little bit. We usually yeah. do like a little at the top, but this man was just here. So we decided to put him on the couch and it became Austin. kind of like a... <laughs> what were you doing here? Uh, just chilling with Austin and Dino. Um, they are producers. Oh, just chilling? Mm -hmm. so, what, kind of, what kind of games are you playing? You look like you stream or play like a Nintendo oh, Switch. Man, I love Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why did I try? How did I nail that? I don't know. That is good. You know people. What are you playing on Nintendo Switch? Playing Roblox? <laughs> no, I'm actually a competitive Pokemon player. A competitive BGC. Pokemon oh, player. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here it cool. is. I dig it. Here I it is. It. Is there any money in this? It would be more funnier if it didn't. Because like I sell Pokemon like hot bread like. What's the most easy. expensive Pokemon you sold? Well, like the way it works is uh you have to have uh, the perfect Pokemon with the IV points, and that's like the highest points <laughs> to be stronger than any other Pokemon they can possibly have. So mm -hmm. it depends. It can be like a dollar, two dollars mm -hmm. for like to be trained. Are you selling products. cards or are you selling digital Pokemon? Digital, digital Pokemon. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Red. Scarlet what, and Violet. Scarlet and Violet. So yeah. you you train these creatures, you raise their hit points, and then you sell them. Yeah. For two or three dollars a pop. Yep. This sounds oh. immensely unprofitable. I know. It's so sad <laughs> because <laughs> oh, he says I know. <laughs> sounds like a huge waste of your time. Better than doing nothing, I guess. <laughs> well, no, the thing is we we think of a man like you being single, right? And just having looks like not much of a chance to Go out there and experience what life's really about, which is having sex a little sometimes, right? It's one of the good things. It's a big part of it. It's There's only so many things in this life that don't cost money sometimes. It, yeah, exactly. It sex can. doesn't I cost disagree. money. Sometimes. I feel like yeah, just having sex it ca can cost a lot of money in your life. When was wow. the last time you had sex? I'm curious. If you had sex. It was back in 2012. It was a long time. Oh you had my. Sex, 2012? God. We have passed the decade mark. This, yeah. is, this is crazy. And you're not interested or you don't? Well, I dated for a while and every time it just ended in tragedy on my behalf. So can I ask you a real question? I don't want to like, do you, um, do you like, do you, do you have any sort of depression or anxiety? I do. You do. Okay. That's why I'm on medication now. <laughs> can I tell you something? You know, they did, there was some study that said like work exercise is like five times more effective than taking like a Klonopin or a Xanax or anything. Yeah, true. You know, I just started working with a trainer about two months ago i'm a skinny guy but i'm trying to put on weight and, I, and like 
I've been able to consistently work out. And I feel really good. I just feel really, my whole day feels better after I put a workout in. I'm not yeah. saying you got to, I've been telling people, if you could just walk a mile or run a mile every day, which isn't a lot, mm. that's going to put you in like the top 10% of like active Americans. And that's, that, that's that's like, that's crazy. Yep. Just walking one mile. You know, yeah. you, that takes like 15, 20 minutes. That's right. Fez, well, it, since I don't drive, I literally walk everywhere. That's yeah, good. Well, oh, okay, that's I, good. I, I sort of don't believe you to get a look at yourself. <laughs> Fez, it, taking those antidepressants, it's like picking up a nasty smell in your closet and just spritzing some Febreze on it instead of getting in there and cleaning out the closet. OK, what we're saying is diet, exercise, lifestyle, maybe something in your life that will give you some self-esteem. Yeah, Maybe that's, that's what true. you need. Keep going, because I want to set this thing set up. This up. I, set I, this want up. To, I want you to hear it. So I'll Hell be, yeah. Give me two seconds. I'm and saying. he's going to inspire you with his with his voice yeah. in a second. Maybe a Fez. song about you. Fez Cube. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I had that aborted song about you killing yourself, so this will be a happy ending. But Fez, we do want to take care of you. I think now it's inevitable that we're going to take you up to the Bunny Ranch, get you a hooker. You know what? Real Would you be interested in that? Real quick, uh, my ex-girlfriend, the girl I moved to LA, ended up working at the Bunny Ranch. Oh, oh my wow. God. There we go. That's, dude, bun- Fez. Wow. Fez Cubed. Would you go to the Bunny Ranch with us and have sex with a hooker? I would gladly have to decline that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like how he phrased that. How Why? I, he yeah, was I thought I was super pumped. high on it for a second. And then the second half of the sentence, he shot it down. What the fuck was that, Fez? <laughs> Why? It's just uh, it wouldn't work for me. I'm pretty sure people like Solby, Austin would be okay with that. But well, we know guess, Solby would be okay with that. You think he I'd be going fucking hookers? Hey, that's you, Austin. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Austin gives you that shady vibe. He's he's he pr- he pretends he's religious with us all the time. So, oh, listen, damn! Fe- I show you stuff, race. <laughs> Fez three. I mean, at this point, what do you have to lose? You're, there's no way you're going to be able to go out into public and seduce a girl right now with your self-esteem the way it is. You need to get a notch in the bedpost, one in this decade, preferably. Mm-hmm. I mean, holy shit, dude. The last time you had sex, Obama was president. Yeah, pretty much. And it was his first term. <laughs> shit. Yeah. But I mean, OK, so does is that a source of the depression? Because I, I don't I can't imagine that being too healthy, you know, like having just no contact with another human being. If I don't, if I go three, four days without having sex, I feel like killing myself. You know right. I mean? I mean, for all individuals like myself, I'm very introvert, so it doesn't really work out. Well, Even my own young sister tells me that. You know who won't care if you're introverted? A hooker. Well, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, what did you call Danny and Leo? Did you call them the Pussy Kings? Oh, that's Aww. right. I got this. I got the. Ever since I've been watching you guys. And uh, uh, Danny, Danny, you're like the puss warrior over here because yeah. you come out over here and <laughs> yeah. talk about like you warrior. had late, literally every week of the day. Sometimes, yeah. you know, you gotta you gotta talk about your your wins. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going to right now give a gift to the real pussy warrior. Oh, I got God. you. You know, it's your birthday, buddy. Thank 37. You, we got a show tonight. You're good, man. Thought I'd put you in a uh, good mood. So here's a, here's a, a card with a cute little kitty Aww, on it. Aw, excuse me, but I need to ask you something. It's kitty, right? <laughs> I bet there's something sure, real sure. cute in here. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> a nice great word. It starts with an F, rhymes with maggot, guys. That's what I got. Yeah, Thank yeah, yeah. you. Has it been hard to stay adorable for all these years? Happy birthday, maggot. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, there, I might have used a slur down at the bottom. That is awesome. Thank well, you, buddy. No I appreciate problem, dude. It. No it's problem. A really nice car. And then I got you. You stay away from these now, Fez. I got you some C's chocolates. <laughs> yes, dude. Nothing like a good C's candy. Happy birthday, Leo. Right. Some authentic Happy birthday, Leo. Appreciate it. Thank For you. the one and only. You're the man, dude. I, I like you. I'm going to take you under my wing, as they say. And then because it's traditional, I got you some new douchebag shades. Oh, dude. no. Yes. I got you some Oakley's. <laughs> yes, dude. Thank you, man. These are these are dope. Those are dude. sick, dude. You do oh sports, my God. long road trips. Are you kidding me, dude? These are fire, yeah, dude. Yeah, those are sick, dude. Oh, my God. Thank you, dude. Those are really solid. You lot, look good man. in those. I didn't look very good in those. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, yeah, I went in there, uh-huh. and uh, they kept asking, like, what is his face like? And I'm just like, he looks like the Geico cavemen. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we're still, we got some uh, AV work going on over here. Dude, Mostly you, A. Dude. These are beautiful. No problem, Thank dude. you so much. No you know, I don't, I don't know if I could get it to work right now. It was yeah. too, I, I thought I had more. T- it was just too much. You know, I have these like little vocal effects things. Some and delay oh, pedals. Damn. Yeah. Loops. And, and, you oh, know, it's really um, dope. Well, what if we do an acoustic? Why wait, let, me, acoustic? let me try this real quick. Let me try it. Uh, nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How, what's that? 
I just put so basically what we got the guys. I'm telling you, it's a fun little thing. Mm -hmm. The the mic that I'm using will go into this, and then it will come out of this. Does that make sense? So let me try this real quick. I'm gonna try one more one more thing. Okay. I bet you this works, dude. Put the good good vibes in the universe, Fez cubed. Thank you. My app? If that's cute. No. No, no, you're staying, buddy. Sure. Nah, you're staying there. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly because I think oh, you're shit. Are we yeah. here? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking fez. <laughs> fucking fuck yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Nice. I'm going to sit down with you guys. That's, so, that, is, that is awesome. You sound like EDM Satan. Fez, can you scooch over? Yeah. Fez. Can you scooch over? The future of podcasts, dude. We're going to have like an AI fucking Fez just talking like that, dude. It'd be nice. Yeah, if we could just have, because we need the diversity chair that we've lost since King Croc. We just need an AI black man. Dude, that would be great, dude. It'd be great. It would make everybody look so much better on podcasts. Yes, it's true. We have a real Latino. I mean, I'm Latino, but you're even more Latino than me, dude. <laughs> I'm Latin. Oh, hell yeah. There we are. I'm Brazilian, you oh, know, oh, wow, Brazilian yeah. and Italian, which makes wow. me the guy from Ratatouille. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man? Hell yeah. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fez, do you <laughs> fucking know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> All right. I love that. Are we going to... Maybe an improvised song. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to get, get like the guitar and plug that in? Okay, yeah, so I got to plug it in real we quick. Gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to uplift Fez Cube. Yeah, I want I want an improvised uplifting song for Fez Cube. We need something uplifting. I tried to strum a few chords earlier, and it was just about him killing himself. Yeah, this shit is wasn't. cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, that thing is fucking dope. It worked, too. That's awesome. Yeah. What is? Oh, uh, right. Austin's holding a generic vape, probably from China. Dude, Almost those, certainly a carcinogen. I know. That's what I... Me and Danny been talking about those vapes from China, man. It's 100%. It, it's their chemical warfare against us. Yeah. So why are you just signing up for that you know how regulated that industry is it's not leo you were hitting vapes as of like a week I ago i have permanently quit vapes good yeah good no more i don't even have the urge after like so two weeks to even do, do one. You, can you plug a, a quarter inch cable anywhere in here uh it's like an input yeah um so you can get the guitar right in there so it's nice and uh crispy. you know nice and crispy you know what yeah. i mean yeah, I can you can, yeah okay let me get a cable real quick i'm gonna yeah, grab it for you the little butthole? I got you. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going to be worth it, I swear. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay. So. Oh, you guys can keep going. You guys keep talking. I'll get this set up. I'm so I brought, so I, I, I wanted to, you know, I'm glad that you're here, Fez Cube, because you were, I was trying to book Morgan J on this pod, and then you, I was told about you, and Austin said all just awesome things about you. He said <laughs> such sweet things about you. So I was like, this guy seems like the nicest guy in the world. So I wanted to meet you. But I, now I know that you need our help. And I, I'm going to tell you, man, your life's going to change from this moment on. So you meeting, meeting Leo himself. and Danny and Morgan J is the day that your life is going to get better. He's got to lose weight. <laughs> You're almost I've 40, been. man. It's yes, time to make a change. Getting sex traffic. You almost got sex traffic twice. Yeah. Get off disability. Jam sesh, boys. Okay, let's let's see what this is. Awesome. What, what key? Do you know what key you were in? I was an E minor. E minor. This is dope, dude. What's the relative of E minor? I forget. I have no idea. Yeah, we're out yeah. of my depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep, can you keep strumming? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see a harmonized you know, from there. Fez, Fez is fat. Well, I got something for you. Hold on, let me do this real quick. D sharp. I think we can go. Fez, I need you to do me a favor. What's that? Hold the mic on there. Yeah. You gotta hold the mic for me in front of my face, okay? okay. Can you hold it? Yeah. Just right in front of his uh, his, his mouth. But no, like, the, the, you know the front of it? Yeah, like, like, that, that, like, that, like that, that, like that, like that, like that. Like that. Thank like you, that. daddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Fez. Hold up, Fez. <laughs> I gotta get the beat, Fez. We're gonna be doing a little capo action. Yeah. 
fast, fast. <laughs> That's dope. I gotta turn it down, it's too much. Okay, fast. You say you go for a walk. Just hold up, just stop. You haven't had sex since 2012. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you could fuck right now if you want to. Do you want to? They just ask you to go and fuck a, and fuck a, and fuck a female escort. Why you say no to that? They turn the auto tune up. Okay, this is kind of vibe. This is vibe, dude. Yo, you trade in the Pokemon. But come on, my guy, get it on. Like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Whip it out. Take it out around town. Stop clowning. Stop clowning best. Go out and get some head. Get a little sloppy toppy. Ain't nothing wrong with sloppy toppy. Sloppy, 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 Fez, you could actually use this guitar. I'll keep the auto tune on, so you'll hit all the notes. There you go. Hit all the notes. Mic. No, no, no. Come on, no, you no, got no, this, Fez. It. Sing your heart out. Hold up, Fez. Yeah, yeah. Fez, just go like doodly doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Can I get a? Can I get a? Let me get a. Let me get a. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. Fez. Sing yeah. about getting sex trafficked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or almost nearly. <laughs> I was going to sex traffic. I don't know what the hell it was in the attic. <laughs> Feel it, baby. Feel it. Doesn't have to rhyme. Just Doesn't tell us your rhyme. story. Just tell us your story. We all suck a nightmare. I don't know what the hell you might get in the attic. <laughs> this is music. <laughs> I'm tired of being lonely, but single might be lonely. This is therapy. Tell us how you feel. Okay, Fez, you look like you're having a stroll. <laughs> Fez having a stroll. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we um just to give you a little backstory, you know, I've been doing the guitar comedy for a little bit, mm -hmm. but with the new tour. I'm bringing in some of uh, some vocal effects. I don't have the full. See, I have like a looping machine. I didn't put on. I didn't play. It's just because it's even more set up. I just want to get the vocal effects out here. You that know what I mean? Sick, man. I mean, it's really just one button. One. Was that like, yeah, and you could change it awesome. if you want to. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, I try that out? Yeah, you try it? yeah get over there. So I'll, I'll say Morgan J. Uh, I've seen him perform before? twice, and it's like. Here, what I could do it's a one of the hardest guys to follow. In yeah, Morgan, you know you're you're a hard act to follow, my man. You know what I mean, Danny? That's dope, dude. Hit that. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I gotta share more of Fez's, Fez's story because yeah, yeah, he's yeah, unwilling yeah. to himself. Yeah, or you did a great job. You just missed the sex trafficking story. Yeah, so I want to get right into that. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to like a talk a little bit? Yeah. Talking, talking, talking. Do you want it down there? Talk. Talking, talking. I like it high. You like it up here? I like it high. You yeah. like it high? I love okay. that. So we'll keep it up there. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna get that beat going. Hell yeah. 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 Hyper pop Danny Muller. <laughs> With sex trafficker wanted his ass. 
So we asked him to play Sonic Said his butthole was bionic And the Fez was on the motorbike real fast He was gonna get raped In his mouth In a favela Lean to house By a sex trafficker Future work in Sarah's Cause look at him now. Are you Brazilian? Brazilian? Mm-hmm. Uh, I said favela, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually like, Nicaraguan yeah. from Central America. Yeah. Isn't that fun? That's great. Morgan, it is when great. Did you, when, did you st- when, did you st- when did you get the guitar and when did you decide to do the guitar shtick? You know, I was doing um, stand-up for about six years, and then I kind of switched to the guitar a little bit. And then I've uh, been doing that for like 10 years. Wow. And then uh, that just kind of changed everything. It's just kind of the vibe. People dig it. Oh, I mean, he, he the both times I've seen you, you brought the fucking house down. If you boys are anywhere near, I mean, we'll we'll put his info on the bottom of the pod. And if you, you got to go yeah. check this guy out on tour, man. Not only are... You're good. There's going to be a boatload of chicks there for you I to mean, maybe kind of get know, some trickle down pussy. It's I mean, it, true. It could happen. You're gonna get. You're gonna get laid at my show. It's <laughs> he could help you get you're laid. Get laid I, at yeah, Fez. How about I it, buddy? Fez. Fez. I've yeah. seen you create love at one of your like, on a, on a. I don't know why it goes in and out, but absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, so that's um. We, we did, did that show. show. See, it goes in. And, that's so interesting. It goes in and out. Wow. Um, but we did that show in the. <laughs> now it's a problem. Now it's let me see. Oh, there you see, see. You see. You see. You see. Why does it? I'm gonna leave it off. You I'm can go s- back to our other mic. No, no, this is good. Hey, well, this is your mic. I, the, yeah. I just oh shit! It. You just yeah, took the, the screen off. Okay, sure. Came in just in the middle of got crazy. You know, I'm a little overwhelmed. Sure, sure. Well, you I know? mean, look at this character. How could you not be? But yeah, man. So yeah. Fez. The you only know, thing more overwhelmed than you is this couch. <laughs> that's true it's, that's true that, that Guys, I, I can only people. recommend you know baby steps right uh because because uh you should you know you should get you should get your your shed some weight i mm-hmm. think it'll be good for you i think so too i think it's good for you. you're gonna feel better and uh like earnestly dude yeah you know what's interesting it's like because i see you know there was a when i used to work at the apple store uh i could see you working at the i worked apple at the store. apple store you're one like, of the geniuses yeah, I was just selling stuff. I worked at the Apple store for like six years. And uh, there was this girl in the break room. And, and l- for lunch, she would have this place called Bruxy. Have you guys heard of Bruxy? No. Anyway, it's like it's like fried chicken, waffles. And every day for lunch, she'd have like a, 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 like a waffle fried chicken taco Jesus. with a fucking Coke and like fries. And, and, it, and, you know, if you see somebody smoking cigarettes, mm-hmm. you know, you're, they they're always like, hey, don't smoke cigarettes. Like that's bad for you. But if you see someone like like just like getting obese and like eating the worst food every day, and then I go to that person like, hey, I can't help but notice you're like literally killing yourself. Mm-hmm. If I said something to them like I'd get fired or something. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's weird like, how that is. It's like, like uh, it's wor- It's almost worse. I mean, Lizzo got tired of of, of seeing her, the people on she her did. tour she binge did. eating. Obviously, this is true. And she let someone have it. This you know is, what I mean? No yeah, she, she did. <laughs> and I'm surprised more people haven't gotten on you about your weight because you don't have a job. So there's nobody who can lose their job. Let me by... see your nails. Let me see your nails. Okay, so a little unevenness. We want it. You can tell a lot by a person's nails. We want it. I feel like uh, like queer eye for the straight guy right now, like trying to do a makeover. Oh, dude, with you. That, is, that is a great show. I want if you you've to, never I want seen you it, to Danny. realize your full potential because I, I yeah. think you're. You think, I think you got a lot of good energy. Yeah. Do you think that, or am I making that up? What do you think? Are you mad at me? Uh, you no, me? not really. I feel like uh, honesty really. is the best policy. Yeah, Hell yeah. Honesty is the best policy. Because I got things I got to work on. You know, we all got stuff we got to work on. Are you, you dating know? now? I mean, this this girl that ended up being at going to the Bunny Ranch did yeah. she did she almost drive you crazy? Because that can't no, that must have been. A- we met in New York, and um, I followed her out here, and then slowly broke up. I mean, quickly broke up. Like, even before I got on the way out here, we we basically broke up, and then I, I just I found out. She was she was stripping in Vegas eventually, and then she moved her way into escorting. Jesus. And then I looked her up, uh, and I saw her fake profile on 
on the bunny ranch wow. and then she likes it turned out she liked anal this was a couple oh, of years wow. ago my God. so it might have changed and um but i don't know you know <laughs> i'm not i'm not particularly mad you know i'm seeing a girl now we've been together for quite a while hey, that's nice. nice we're in an open relationship really uh, it's because i travel a lot and you know okay so yeah. how does that work like what do you do we have you, a don't ask don't tell policy okay which worked really well for the u.s government and the military. <laughs> yeah. so uh yeah we just because you know i'm on the road and uh yeah it's tough every time you know i'm gonna be gone for like two and a half months and every once in a while something pops up in a city i don't show up to a city really like you know who wants to you know sometimes no. somebody might slide into my dm will be like hey i see you're coming to ohio like I'm down, and I'll be like, well, like that." Fez, Fez just nodded when he said that. No, well, no, you know, for me, oh, yeah. when it comes to open relationships, uh, yeah. yeah, tell us. Fez. I, I, never was, I was talking into the one. wrong side of this. Yeah, wow. I never no, been okay. in it one, but like good. Yeah. for me, it's like this: when you go in open relationships, like you can pretty much stay whoever you want, go out where you want. There's so much freedom to do. So you're an open like, relationship you know, guy, Fez, is what you're saying. But your home, <laughs> your your heart's always home. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I agree with that. Wow, so you you dig what he's saying? Yeah, I, I come cool. back. I come back to my girl all the time because realistically, you know, you're in a different city. You you can fall in love in any city you go to, but mm -hmm. it's easy to do that when, you know, you could, you're just there visiting. You have drinks, you hang out, mm -hmm. you have, you have sex in a hotel, which already is exciting and fun. Yeah, hotel sex. What just, kind of hotel you're staying in? No, but even the, the, sometimes the dirtier, the grodier the hotel, the the better it is. Yeah, he has he had the, a famous quote that Danny told me once. It's like I love fucking in hotels. You can just jizz on the curtains i did say that's that once. Yeah. and that is that's a perk. real that's no, true yes yeah. that's, that's real and yeah. or the alarm clock or the like literally the, you have to assume cum is everywhere <laughs> yeah yes. as a matter of fact i don't i try not to walk on the floor barefoot i i'll I'm take some of the sheets and put them on the floor and uh it's a good idea just because you know in my opinion there's there's probably you know it, leo come all over the hotel <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Is that a, is that a, is that a this guitar is out of tune. Don't oh, pay okay. attention to it. But Leo, you might notice that when we're on the road, I always put socks on before I get up to go to the bathroom. That's yeah, true. I take a piss. True. I always put my socks no, on. I, totally. At least my bed. I know that's been through the laundry that day. Yeah. That's my little Some, cleanliness sanctuary. Even hopefully, sometimes. hopefully, sometimes. Who knows? we. I mean, I'm I'm hoping if you stay at a chain that's not in like the meth belt of this country, though the meth belt's getting harder to find now. That could be any yeah. city. Yeah. It's any city. Morgan, when did you learn how to play guitar? I'm always kind of, I'll be honest, I'm a little jealous of guys with guitars because it's like, if you can sing and play the guitar, man, it's just, mm -hmm. you could really be an unattractive guy and you'd still get yeah, some you tail. you could do a lot of, yeah. I mean, Mick, 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 Mick Jagger, Jagger is, in, yeah. I don't know, he's not like a looker. Well, not anymore. He, he used to be insanely good looking back in his prime though. Yeah. He was the guy back in his yeah. prime. Yeah. But was it because, was it because like he was, Pull up a young Mick Jagger, Austin. Is that, Let's yeah. we can all weigh in, but he was one of the most famous sex symbols of the nine. I mean, not even the nineties, the nineteen hundreds. Young Mick Jagger. It's that second one there. <laughs> I like that he spelled. Yeah, how did you? M M C one word, dude. Sorry, I love sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. So let's pull up. Uh, that's a pretty handsome yeah, guy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. a cute dude. That looks like Austin, honestly, a little bit. I've gotten cute. told I look like a young Mick Jagger by like old ladies a bunch of times. Mm. Does he's got, he's got beautiful like. eyes. Yeah. And, and those pouty lips. Yeah, the yeah that guy, lips. he would have been getting English pussy despite the band. And then he, as soon as he fucking played music, dude, it's over. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're like an you know, a sixth, it's gonna bump you up two spots. Yeah. That is something important because our fans are it's 99% dudes and a lot of them want to yeah. want to know how hey, to hey. get 98. Okay, 98, you're right. It's 2% chicks. It's they <laughs> want to know how to get chicks, you know what I mean? And I I I mean that's one thing that I can't help you with. I I've never played an instrument, but I can tell you when I see Morgan J on stage playing music, dude, and just doing jokes and doing crowd work with his guitar, it's just like it, every girl, uh, most of the girls there that are single are going to want to sleep with the guy. That's mm. just the fact. It's, you know, there's a song uh, that I just listened to from like the Chicago kid and it had it had such a good hook. And the, the song is basically about this guy got too drunk and then he forgot the girl's name. But he does it in a song and he's like, we've been dancing and smoking, laughing and joking, babe. 
but please remind me of your name. It's like so smooth. <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, point being is everything you need to know to be smooth is like in R&B songs, really. They kind of say yes, it all. Yeah, the black band. I mean, just yeah, R&B in general. Everybody can pull in love with really great R&B songs. Absolutely, man. R&B, I mean. <laughs> no, no, I, I agree. And uh, But as far, you know, my buddy Pat has a good move, which any any of the fellas listening can mm-hmm. steal. If and also, I feel like you have to at least be well put together. You can't do this looking like a little bit yeah. odd, you know. But he'll send a cold glass of milk to a girl. He'll tell the bartender, "Hey, <laughs> send them a shot of milk." And you know, he's a he's a cute dude, so they're gonna look over at him and be like, "Would this work for Fez?" <laughs> no, <laughs> they might no. think he's send Santa Claus. If he's I, hate, I hate to say it, Fez. I'm Nicaraguan sorry. Santa Claus. Fez, it won't work for you. But Not right now, for anybody listening, if you're like a solid uh, six to eight. Yeah. Fez, you're five and a half, and that's okay. You're getting if you drop 15 pounds, you'll be a six. Yes, and you can do. ¿De dónde eres? Tú eres mexicano. ¿De dónde eres? Hablas español. Yes. ¿De dónde eres? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Nicaragüense. Okay. Yo soy brasileño. Mi padre es argentino. Ah, mi mi padre es argentino. Sí. Mi padre wow. se nació en Italia, pero creció en Argentina. Buenos that, Aires. My grandfather lived in Italy yep. and grew up in Buenos Aires. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so we're very similar. Very similar. Yeah. So. Uh, but you got that sabor. So actually, yeah. I'm going to bump you up to a six and a half, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah. So yeah. Latinos, bro. I mean, so... it's like, in. I mean, we, we've seen it. Like, even like, for example, a guy like uh, like uh, Sweet Johnny. He was a homeless kid yeah. with Riz, dude. This guy was pulling USC chicks left and right. He just posted a video on his Instagram. He yeah. was making out with Making out with a chick. Classy. Yeah. Can we I review that real quick? I believe it. Yeah. I would Pull love it to up, see. Dude. Sweet Johnny, dude. Very modest. I wonder if the girl appreciated it. <laughs> well, that's the thing about LA. Yeah. LA, like, like the the unhoused, as they say now, are uh, are attractive. Yeah. Some of them are attractive. Some of them are gonna, some of the women, the unhoused women. The, well, the men are, are the like, men, yeah, they're jacked and ripped. They're and jacked, dude. A lot yeah. of them are. Yeah, I've been. I had to J O H. I as you guys know in here had to volunteer at a homeless shelter, yeah. and none of the women who have come in are even in yes. the neighborhood of yeah. kind of yeah. cute. There was one girl who came in who looks like she could have been a chick that Brooks Cossover fucked in 2019. Wow. Really? Like like one of those like like a like a rave chick. Skinny chick with white girl dreads. Right. A big pair of nerd glasses. Pretty cute face. No visible track marks. Mm. Fuckable. You would get blown by her if she wasn't in a soup kitchen. I mean, I probably would have gotten blown by her in the soup kitchen if I was you working that day. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I probably would have. You probably <laughs> absolutely would have. So Leo, this person doesn't have a home? No, he didn't used to. I, th- I believe now he does. But now, but look, I mean, he's still getting, look at this, dude. Wow. He was homeless less than a year ago and a drug addict. I, I think, thought he was like an alcoholic. Maybe he, maybe he got it together. Dude, he's he 13 he step. He met, this, yeah. he met this girl in rehab, dude. He's 13 step. That's what it this is. This is not All I step. know is that, that it has to work out because if it doesn't work out between them, he's relapsing. Yeah, maybe, yeah. honestly. That's and why you don't that would be I don't like that. I don't like he looks like he's about to rob a 7 yeah. Eleven of that thing. Why did he do that? Yeah, I, I don't anybody who wears the ski mask gets are you are you looking to get gunned down by police? We gotta get him in the in his broad on the pod, huh? Yeah. That sounds amazing. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. we gotta figure out. Need a broad on. on the pod. Yeah, man. But Morgan J, what is uh now what is the comedy game like brought you? Do you or does it make you happy? I mean yeah, I love it. I love my life. I'm very grateful. Yeah. I'm traveling the country, mm-hmm. selling out selling out some venues. Some venues. That's amazing. Just man. sold out the uh, the Dynasty typewriter over here. Kind of sick, dude. Sold wow. out a uh, wow. venue in Toronto. Wow, dude. New York. I'm doing a show on a Tuesday at eight PM and Right now, we've sold what almost three hundred tickets on a That's Tuesday. Insane, dude. Tickets, dude. All through the sick. power of TikTok, you know. Dude. Some, That's yeah, amazing. It's, 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 it's pretty interesting. Was it TikTok more than Instagram for you? Uh, it's a mix of both. I mean, it's like there's I have a strategy. I almost thought about putting a, like a course together for mm-hmm. people. You know, like yeah. you just got to list the tour dates like five months in advance. OK, because what happens if you list the tour dates way, way in advance and you keep posting clips if if every once in a while one pops off boom more ticket sales boom more ticket sales that's a genius i so mean we could, you could sell out we could sell out i mean we've sold out uh, we sold out a show in new york and one in sacramento this yeah. year yeah so yeah i don't and how long did you promote those for like a week and a half okay we didn't so, do shit yeah all right so if you set up a real tour like five months in advance had mm-hmm. all the tickets listed you can keep posting clips from the pod uh up until that point and every time one pops off all your ticket sales are going to go up oh. And then I listed on like 
on my both my Instagram and my my TikTok, it says tour dates at the very top. Like there's this post that says tour dates. Nice. Yeah, you got to be yeah. prominent with those. Ryan Long always talks about that. Yeah. Well, Fez, it, so today on the show, we called your favorite boba place, Buddha Boba. He also called, yeah. we told him to call Jamba Juice and threatened to kill himself, <laughs> which he did. What if, what if you start a TikTok channel where you alternately review boba and then call businesses threatening to kill yourself? <laughs> Uh, I like that. I don't know about that, but I, I why? Why? it's such a great idea. It's so like, <laughs> like it's so they're so different. The two things, you know? Yeah. I, and what if he does it shirtless oh, covered yeah. in chicken grease, sort of like Ben uh, Stiller at the end of dodgeball. I love it. That yeah. so I, I, you got to, I mean, you would go completely viral. <laughs> I mean, a hundred percent, even if people don't agree with what you're doing, they're going to tune in and watch the clip. I mean, no policies, but no, wait, negative. Negative, uh, what did you say? What, what, is yeah, stop, stop. Was, what did you say? Whoa. I think he said the N word. I think he no, did. No, no, what did you say? Ne- neg- negative negative what? publicity. That's what he's trying to Destic. say. He also, oh, uh, you said the. <laughs> what, what, you, I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah, we might drink. have to bleep that. Well, he also <laughs> said so much, it, it, he was talking. There was some slang for his fellow Nicaraguan countrymen he was throwing around. Right. Can you say that again? Nikas. How do you feel yeah, about he calls that? Him his Nikas, dude. Yeah, that's. I got that. You get that, sure, get that. sure. It yeah. was it was just in your you got lost for a second, kind of mumbling, and it sounded like you said the N word there, Fez. What are you gonna let me ask you a question? What are you gonna do tomorrow? Where do you where do you live? What I part live of town in you Alita live? in the valley. And he lives little, in a house with a whole family of Armenians. Uh, Armenian that's people. on you live on dude, where is your where is your family at? Dude, we gotta go. Uh, over all there. my family's in Arkansas. In Arkansas. And and what are you gonna do? Like what is your gonna be your day by day tomorrow? What are you gonna do tomorrow? Um, it's up in the air. <laughs> I bet it's up in the air. What if I what if I challenged you to like, I don't know, just just walk a you know walk a mile around a track or something or two miles? What walk would you do? A track for a mile. I don't know. <laughs> is that, is it that, is it that mind blowing? Yeah, I think we have to. Have it. It, it, ambulance I'm a celebrity by. at this point. I mean, it, anything can happen. I don't know. Did you say I'm a celebrity? Uh, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, he is. I'm, I'm like a, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm on that show while and out. At this point, Hell if yeah. I died suddenly, like there would be like a little TMZ article, I think. Yeah. yeah a very dude. small local Hell obituary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were on Wild and Out. How'd that go, dude? It was okay. I don't know if I fit in there. I, I did my best. It's a stressful show. It is. Yeah. It's I a stressful show to be on. That'd be sick. I've it's heard uh, they throw you in there and it's just like it's very improv. It's very, it's very competitive and, yeah. and it moves very fast and. You know, shout out to Nick Cannon because he really does put people on. Yeah. How do you get on the show? Because I'm good at freestyling. I would, I would love uh, to be yeah, on that. Show, I, I got booked on the show because they they he, he saw my clips. I post every day for the last three years, and and somebody shared my clips, man. and then uh, he DM me. Someone needs Nick to Cannon take, DM you. Nick, Nick Cannon DM me. That's dope. I just need a fan cool to way. take all of my freestyle clips. I've got like. Why do 200 you, why hours do you, on YouTube why and then do you just send f- them to Nick Cannon. Because he's too busy. Why do you need he's a fan to do way that, Way too bro? busy. Because I'm too lazy. He's got to smoke weed. He's got to play RuneScape. Why can't you do it yourself? Well, because if you mobilize like a so hundred people a lot, on bro, the internet good. to spam Nick Cannon. How old are you? It's a lot more than what I could do by myself. How old are you? Uh, 23. You could, you, could edit, you could put the edit together, bro. He definitely could. You could. I'm 36. Well, I, I mean, obviously, I'm putting this whole podcast together like today. Well, yeah. what about the rest of the days of the week? Well, I do a lot of other stuff. Plus, you could use yeah, that's AI. True. He does go to comic events. Plus, you could use AI to just cut between us now. Yeah, that's they're true. On, they're on it. You should honestly be grateful they still even have you doing this. AI yeah, is yeah. like, dude. AI is fucking yeah. Not to stress you out. I'm just saying, like, you know, because I have an assistant who does my editing, and I know mm-hmm. what he can do with the AI. So I've given him more work to do, and I said, look, I, look, I know you can generate all the text through the AI. I know you can cut back and forth through the AI. So go a little bit further and put some images and this mm-hmm. and that in it. And let's let's zest it up. And you're raising a good point, too. I know that when I was in my 20s, I thought I was working really fucking hard. And looking back, it, my work schedule was a joke. Yeah. I would put in two hours into something in the morning and be like, oh, I'm spent. Time to go hang out with my buddies, get high and watch movies. Yeah. But the, yeah. And, and, and at the sake of I don't want to say like it's all about that grind mentality either, because mm-hmm. I've done that for a while, too. But, you know, it's good to relax a little bit. But, you know, you got you got to. I don't know, man, it's tough for the 25 and under. How old are you, my guy? 20. 20. What you want to do? 
So that's he. That's he goes to your mom. He and he calls me a pedophile all the time. <laughs> he's got pedophile, your mom, and what else? He calls like, me gay. Yeah, yeah, he gay has, pedophile, and uh, fuck your mom. He's that's actually just, pretty. I think Dino respects me. Dino doesn't come after me very often. No, nah, he doesn't. Your mom's too ugly. You're my mom's asshole. too ugly she's actually a really beautiful woman <laughs> yeah do you know uh you got a girlfriend uh, no. hell no dude. i thought it was gonna just double down be like your mom <laughs> <laughs> no his uh dude he gets attention from women because he's kind of that tiktok boy type but he is you know his instagram is like you're atrocious like a, and you know you're like uh like a young uh pete davidson bro yeah I mean, look at my shirt bro it says tape and that says, says, it says rape. well it says gamma delta rho sigma yeah. technically but the greek letters look like rape it's greek letters it's very suspicious fake frat <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> have you have you ever had a girlfriend yeah he Do you actually, have one right now not right now he oh. is one of those red pill dudes who is such an asshole and hates women Sorry. so much that sometimes wow. his hatred comes off as confidence and so women they get confused because they're like this guy must have his fucking life together he clearly doesn't give a shit about me but i don't think it would sustain through a relationship yeah. just is, occasionally he can get a phone number do you own a, a do you own a gun no not yet thank god <sighs> yeah yikes dude. domestic know, right? terrorism incoming if he well, did it's like what is it was it your upbringing too like my father basically he outlined the, the like the way the world works and he's like listen if you're not getting pussy you're a failure yeah. so figure out a way to get pussy and I'm gonna do it more i don't know if style. that's i don't know if what if it was for you getting pussy your failure yeah no my dad died when i was six oh, so damn. uh <laughs> it's just in your blood dude yeah it's just he in might. my blood it's in your blood yeah no he passed away when i was six uh i was raised mostly by my mom wow. but uh i didn't i didn't i'm 36 now i didn't really uh get any swag until maybe maybe when i turned 30 there we go. And then I also didn't think I, I don't think I knew how to make love to a woman until I was like really do it well, like until I was 30. Yeah. Mm. And that raises the question Fez Cubed, when you last had sex oh, over God. 10 years ago, how did it go? It was terrible. <laughs> Why was it oh, so yeah? bad? I was inexperienced. Because oh. it was like well, one of my first times. Who was the girl? Oh, that, that was your first time? Damn, it was. Bro. That, we, so that was your first oh. time. Your last time was your first time. Danny, mm -hmm. he was 27. I think that might be Fez. Be How old are you, Fez? I'm 38. Fez. Fez. Oh, I'm going to be 38. Fez. Is anybody else smell a suspicious story? Did you? Have you? Are you a virgin? Be honest with us because we can help you, my man. <laughs> Honesty is the true, the only way that things are going to change. You got to be honest. This is wild. Can this you is, smell it, Danny? I, it smells a little fishy to me. Are you, <laughs> you're a virgin, this is aren't wild you? stuff. Are Just you, come clean. Are you a virgin? I mean, it's up in the air. I mean, it's been a long time, so I, I don't like even it. know. I like the answer. Say. I don't know what it means, but I like the answer. I like that answer. Please, that's very air. political. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like when when <laughs> when they're debating and they're like, yeah. Mr. President, uh, we want to know. Well, you know, we want to thank the American people first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What? what does that have to do with it? Yeah, yeah, and I think everybody wants to feel safe in this country and. Mm. Wait, and whether I had you know, President. sex or not, it's Answer up in the, the air. <laughs> there it is, you know? dude. It's up in the air. That's okay, man. We're not, you know, whatever it is, it's all good. Yeah, you're natural William Clinton over here. Please but, try to be a little bit more precise with your answer, though, Mr. Clinton. I, I will say this, though. I mean, there has been no guy that has come into the, the, our lives and gotten less pussy. It's only going to go up from here. Well, Ratic Ralph was in jail shortly after coming into our lives. Yeah, but he yeah. never stopped getting pussy, dude. He was always yeah. with Rat Pussy Bam, dude. He had a girlfriend the whole time. You uh, you and her share body types, incidentally. But continue. Uh, please tell us about what happened yeah. in 2000. How, how old was the girl? Well, we were the same were the, age. So, uh, uh, we met in, in Was it her school. first time? Well, no, not really. She was well experienced. It was just oh. my failure to cooperate with what I was supposed to do. Sure. But getting inside a female is like such a heartache for me. I don't know what it is. It's just because maybe that's, I'm a big guy. You know, having a, this precise posture, it's just yeah, not, doesn't work out. Where well what's your also. dick like? Very small. <laughs> I'll be honest. Wow. It is small. <laughs> when it's hard, it's small too. No, it's small. It's all beast. 
Not, not as small, small as Swolby. Oh, you're good then. Swolby's about thinking, average. He's about who's, average. Who's, 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 Swolby's a guy that used. Uh, well, no, he he's a, a guy on our channel. He fucked know. a chick at the Chicken Ranch yeah. on video. Whoa! And, and there was a there's so much lore that I don't. Lie. There's a lot of lore. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're in it now, dude. I'm in it. Yeah. But Swolby has like an, a roughly average sized cock. You were saying your penis is bigger than his. First of all, confirm or deny that. You think? Okay. And then, okay, and then how do you, how do you know it's bigger though? When did you see Swolby's dick? Never. <laughs> so how would you? And what scared. do we define? He, he watched the episode with Adam and Swolby. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so yeah. you wanted to just jump in on that and talk shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, 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 when you say small, what do you what do you say? Yeah. Like what are inches. we saying? Hard inches. Hard inches. Are you guys in the metric system down there? Metric system. Yeah, give it. to My us girl and I were just measuring my ding dong last uh, night. Dope. Dope. I don't know if I can compete against that. No, yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously got a degree of confidence if he's letting her wield the measuring. Yeah, yeah, that I'm is sure. a really good idea, though. If, if a girl's like, how big is your dick? And you could be like 12. You just don't include that you're saying centimeters. centimeters. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's, that, I think that's a joke from like the 1940s. Yeah, I've, Austin. I've, heard, I've heard a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, but you're like, I'm English. I right? encourage you to use that tonight in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But Fez. It, I would have to say like 23. Fez, it wouldn't I, work. Well, you, I can, there's an, <laughs> anything that you have a problem with. I have a solution. I think yeah. that like that you said the position you couldn't do it. You were probably trying missionary and you are a bigger guy. Yeah. I mean, you probably listen next time you simplify it, it should be doggy style for you. You know, oh, okay. big guys do doggy usually like, like big, you know, like you can rush your smalls. belly on her tailbone. There we go. You can just put it right on top of there. So, we need hey, you real quick. How big is your dick? Just kidding. All right, go on. Have a good day. <laughs> Sorry, walk through real quick. <laughs> so, so we need you. you I say maybe if we can get some some ominous music playing. Yeah. Maybe a nice uh, minor acoustic strum. Yeah. I want to get to the bottom right now. Can we get a little bluesy? Oh, I like this. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. This is nice. Okay. Oh, so like oh wow. This, this sounds ominous though. Do you feel comfortable admitting if you were actually had sex or not? Because that's still the issue at hand, Fez. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time. I know it's been a long I time. I don't know how to do it anymore. <laughs> right, but, did you ever get insertion? Did you put your penis inside a woman? Yes. You did. Was it hard? Was your penis hard? Can you not confirm? You can't confirm. You're really good, dude. How long, wait, so wait, how long you been playing guitar? I, I'm really not that good. I, I, I've been playing since I was like 16. I should be able. I should be able to play better, is what I'm saying. But I could sing well. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh -huh. Your voice singing is way harder yeah. than playing guitar in my yeah. mind. Yeah, man. Well, damn, dude. I want you to fuck, bro. Yeah, me too, man. We all want to get what, a we're, bang. We're gonna take you to Tijuana. We're gonna go to Hong Kong. Right. Yeah, we're gonna start you on a donkey. Work so, you up to I've a. I've never been to Hong Kong, <laughs> but I heard so many stories from a buddy who actually went over there on his. I went uh, there. And he stayed. Dope. How yeah. was it? It you know, was fun, right? It was well, it was my first time uh being in a like a strip club like that. And I wouldn't even consider it a strip. It's like a strip club on club on my it's crack. Like kind of yeah. It's a brothel. It's a brothel. It's a brothel. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, as a ooh, sorry, sorry, as a comedian, I want to try everything. You know what I mean? And I was it's like, all right, let me take one of these girls up. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't perform. I'll be honest with you. I couldn't perform sexually. It felt like a Best Buy. It's like she kept trying to upsell me on yeah. like different things. And yeah. And then like there's like guys waiting outside to like flip the room. You got to wear a condom. There's no foreplay. Yeah. It just felt. Yeah. It felt like a whole. And I just I couldn't perform. And then um, same thing happened in Amsterdam. I, like I couldn't really perform. And uh, you. Yeah. Same thing for you. You couldn't really perform with that chick that at, at the bunny ranch, at the chicken ranch, right? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I've, I've had hookers before in Mexico. It helps if you're very intoxicated. That <laughs> yeah. will push well, those well, anxieties out of well, your mind. There was, a lot of, there was also a lot of like anxiety and guilt over being there because I don't know. It's like, you know, these women are probably like being controlled by the cartel a little That's bit. True. And, and mm. you know, they're getting bought the fake titties and the braces and this. And you're like, yeah. I don't know. I was but, 21, so I didn't really have any ethics yet. Sure, sure. That sure. helped. But I went down to Cabo San Lucas with, with a couple of guys. They were all like in their 50s. I, uh, and uh, we went to a, one of those types of places. And I felt less stressed about being there. I was like, oh, you know, this because it's like. These are like the circumstances. I can't really fix it right now in this moment while I'm here. Yeah. I was, I didn't, I was sort of like a passive participant in the experience, you know? You know, I remember the, we were driving up to this house we were staying at and the, 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 the girl that they picked up, 
she was sitting on my lap and I'm like the youngest guy there. And then all the other guys are, you know, they're in their fifties, lower way. You know, and, then, and she's like, speaking nothing, to, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, she's like speaking to no. me in Spanish. And she's like, man, pero I wish I could be, you know, having sex with you. And like, <laughs> I got to fuck this guy. I'm saying, you know, it's his birthday. It's not, you know, I didn't pay for it. So <laughs> I wish I could fuck you too, but it's not my thing. But she was like having me grab her tits in front of the car and stuff. And it was cool. But I felt, um, you know, it wasn't my, you know, I think I could have performed that night. I feel like I felt, I felt I've more of a connection. Well, well, I just felt more, I felt less guilt and anxiety over it. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't do anything. I, like that. Again, at the start of this podcast, he was telling us about how he almost got sex trafficked in Nicaragua. I wonder if that girl was your sister. Um, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's serious, you know, it should be happening, bro. Idiot, was she man, a little, fucked. was there any resemblance to Fez here? <laughs> not really. I've been not. Well, you didn't see the hooker. No, fest. Definitely, definitely no. not. Okay. Definitely not. Right. Her name was Persephone. Persephone. That is, was she African American? Well, obviously not no, African American. She was, she, was, uh, she was Spanish. She was Mexican. Okay. She was very, she was attractive. Yeah, those hybrid names. You I was, I was surprised them. at how, how hot the girl she was. Yeah. Honestly. Now, would you feel less bad about doing like the Asian massage hand job like after a massage? I haven't done that, but I was just in Montreal and, and somebody told me that that's like very big there. Oh. Mm. Is these, these uh, massage. I haven't done it yet. I've had friends who've done it. And I've done it quite, well, quite a few times. Yeah. I've got about two under my belt. And what is it like? Is it, do, do you get, let me ask you this. Cause I do get a massage regularly because mm -hmm. I need like a good massage. Okay. Uh, to, for maintenance, you know, but for these massages, do they really focus on the massage part or they just I, depends I, on the place. Most of the time I could say I probably, probably got like 15. So way more than you. Yeah. I'll say that most of the time in my experience, now I'm not a fucking expert or anything, but the massage is bad. Now there is, there was a place by his old place uh, that uh, used to, they do a really good massage. That was how they got their reoccurring, you know, their returning customers. Yeah. They do a really good massage, but it was only half an hour, but a very good massage. And then, yeah, they just like give you a hand job. How long does the hand job part take? Do Until they, you do, come. Do they just, do they just rush? I mean, I get, but like, do they rush through it or is no. it like a sensual thing? This sensual. is how, this is how it worked for me. It's a sensual, sensual thing. Sensual thing. This is how it worked for me. I'll describe this briefly. So you're getting a massage. Mine was a good massage. Mm -hmm. And I know that because I've had one legitimate massage and two jerk off massages, just as good as my legitimate massage where Dope. that was that chick's job was to rub my shoulders. There's a regular massage for like 30 minutes and then. She starts doing some suspicious stuff. Yeah. She rolls you over. Her elbow grazes your ass. Yeah. One of the fingers trails down yeah, low. Yeah. And it grazes your nuts. Yeah. Back. From behind. Yeah. Do, do, do. Then she brushes up against your taint and concentric circles then she she puts up her fingers and goes forty dollar forty dollar yeah. it's a forty dollar wow. tip i mean when it's really i mean nowadays a twenty dollar tip is really normal for massage so it's like 20 more dollars and it's it's a hand how and can you describe this woman how old is she she was um as you that accent i was doing uh, clearly she was an american jewish girl no i'm joking she was yeah. very asian but uh she was a 40 year old asian woman not unattractive. If you were drunk in a bar and it was last call, yeah. you probably would have fucked her. You would have regretted it the next morning sure. and hurried out the room. But not bad looking. Very Asian woman next door. Did that, not look like a traffic Every single time I've ever done it has been the same, yeah. th exactly that description. Asian woman next door. Yes. Mm -hmm. She had big boobs, which she pulled out and let me play with. She put a finger up my ass, which oh, yeah. I, I would have enjoyed if there was more lubrication dude, to play. Morgan, like everything though. else in life, the Asians do it better, dude. Yeah. And do, Cars, do their video games. Oh, the finger dude. in the butt. And all you got to do is ask and they'll do that. But dude. she doesn't know if you have like dookie in there. You know, I've, I've, oh. I'll take a finger in the butt anytime. Mm -hmm. I was 20. And when I was, maybe she liked young white boys and I had a very good complexion back then. I think she might've just been a little into me. Every single time I've ever done it, it's been, it's always like, oh, you are a very handsome man. <laughs> you he is the Japanese. Do they ever, real talk, do they, have they ever tried to like mount you or fuck you? No. Not me. Happens. Not uh, you? No. I, the finger in the uh, ass that one, I got. Okay, one dude, one, let me just 
let me blow all over her face. That was probably what? I don't know. Yeah, insane. I don't know if that's a real. Th I I think she just did that because she was attracted. Definitely, they don't do that for yeah. I, she just Fez, let me, no yeah. offense that you would not be money shot in this bitch. <laughs> Dude, if you went in she that. just probably. let me all over her face, and I was like, "What the fuck? That was awesome. This is wild stuff. Yeah. This is wild. I recommend stuff. it though if you have never really, you know, you're a comedian. You got to try everything. You said that earlier. I do got to try everything. Yeah, because yeah, I've been to sex parties and stuff. So mm -hmm. oh shit, yeah. Yeah. I've uh, I've never been to a sex party. What's yeah. that like? The one I went to was like a grassroots sex party. Like it wasn't like these these clubs that you pay a thousand dollars to go to. This is like my girl and I were was we were on this app called Trinder, <laughs> and which is now called Field. Okay, yeah. I've there heard. Was a uh, you know who met his wife on there? Uh, Brad Williams, the the little man, the little, the the little person, the little yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. He met his wife on Field. Well, you know, it's a thing. You know, so me and my girl were on there as a couple, and we, we matched with this group. And the first one, they, they, you have to send a photo in. It's like 75 bucks to go per person. They vet you. Mm. And the first one he went to was in this like four story apartment in Santa Monica. Uh, it was Halloween. Everybody was dressed up wow. and people were attractive, man. It was, it was lit. Wow. It was lit. I, I ended up hooking up. I mean, my girl and I ended up in like a bubble bath with this other girl and we were just Damn. having a good time. It was, it was cool. So your girl didn't go off with any other dude that night. she did. She uh, did. And wow. she can do that. That's wow. the, you know, we, that's like I said, she can do that. It's not wow. hypothetical. Do you think Fez could have gone to that party? as like <laughs> as Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think he might've been able to you know, slip through the net? Honestly, anything is fucking possible. <laughs> I think he's dude. What would be a good costume for this dude? Uh, like a Buddha. You could go as like oh, you, know, you could go as Nacho Libre. Oh, Nacho Libre. If somebody thought you were, well, Jack, it'd be Nacho tough for them Libre. to mistake you for Jack Black. But <laughs> no, but Nacho Libre is a good. You you, you have the, you do the one with the cape and you do the. You right. know what I'm talking about? You wear a mask, dude. That's a good disguise. That's a great disguise. It's a great disguise. disguise. Well, so, the thing about the sex parties is some people don't fuck at the sex parties. They'll meet people there and they'll leave and go somewhere else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people go and just watch people. Some people don't even like the fuck. They yeah. just want to watch people. So there's a lot of different things that go yeah. on. Yeah. If you went as Jonah Hill and get him to the Greek, I think I was oh, when he was at his peak. Yeah. I think if, if you wore some sort of mask or, I don't know, get a perm and dyed your hair a little lighter, I think you could pull it off. Have you ever thought about letting a dude give you a head? How about it? Come no, on. Do you like guys? No Come on, Fez. Get off your high horse. It's no been a, it's been a decade. Way. It's been bro, a decade. You're basically in jail, I'd rather be, bro. I'd rather be by myself than ever that happened. It's not even gay if you stop six months to the fucking before you get out of jail, is what I've heard. So if yeah, that, if that so if you just do it now and then don't do it for six months, you're good. What Honestly, you, girls like it if you're a little gay now. They do. It's, and, 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 and what like if he gives you a Pokemon after? <laughs> I think I'm be good. I'm the one. Yo, who these got these goth here. chicks mm -hmm. that like anime. That yeah. I'm yes. telling you, they that's like. Your type. They like if that's they it. like if you're a little fucking gay. They man. do. Yeah, bro. they like that. And that's what you. Yeah, they you, want you to experiment. They think that shit's cool. Yeah, you love anime. You love you know right? Japanese okay. culture, right? I do. Yeah, I, yeah I man, they fuck with that. I think just fucking just top a guy off. Just go to West Hollywood <laughs> at two a.m. Find a guy stumbling out and just get on your fucking knees. I have a, I'll tell you, I have, just go. The yeah. kid is, just do it. I have dude. a friend who's I have a friend who's on Grinder and yeah, we'll be on we'll be at parties and he'll he'll be like, hey, I'm gonna I'll be back in like 15 minutes. No, and I'll be like, what? And he's like, I'm gonna get my sick my dick sucked, and he'll just yeah. come back. I'll just get his dick sucked and come back. It's We're a wild, it's a wild community. I, I'm I, I'm in yeah. awe. I, yeah, I'm, I'm envy, I envy no. it. The and, gay community is wild. The one time I was with uh, uh we were with. Our entire, uh, we went to Disneyland with this play. It was, a, a, we were doing um, Peter and Wendy. And uh, there were numerous guys that were gay. And one of them on Grinder met a guy in, in the line for the scream in California scream. He met a guy. He was like, oh, I matched with somebody in line, like, uh, yeah. like 20 yeah. feet in front of us. And then he met that guy and they fucked at Disneyland yeah. in a bathroom. That's not uncommon, though. Yeah, it's not. That's no, not it's it's uncommon. like a wild world that that we are just not part of because yeah. You know. hey, hey guys, I I have told to. my girl I was gonna. I was, I was like, if you don't, I'm gonna join. If you don't like, start giving me more. Yeah, there we go. So that's how it feels. You got to have that sort of commanding attitude. Like, yeah. if right now you're just letting chicks walk all over you. You got to be like, I'm gonna fucking start getting whores off a dating app if you don't suck my dick right yeah, now. That's right, and that'll create false demand. They'll think you're more in demand than you actually are. Yes. But listen, I got good news, Fez. We just got a text back from Buddha Boba. 
Oh. The place you called, well, I called as you and told I was going to kill myself. Oh. Well, we just got a text. Hi, I'm John, and I was asked to reach out to this number. If you have any health concerns or emotional crisis, please reach out to, and then the suicide hotline is there. Dude, Buddha Boba is awesome. They're go, back in the good graces. Go to Buddha Boba, support Buddha Boba in the valley. They're back. That's awesome. Fuck Jamba Juice. This. Yeah, fuck Jamba Juice. <laughs> Jamba Juice. Jeff's three stamps are gone. Ass. We gotta wrap up. Yeah, 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 three yeah, stamps sure. are gone. <laughs> All right, boys. We've had it. We've had a lot of fun. I think we uh we ended maybe, you know, uh yeah, give us a little song on oh, the way yeah. out, Morgan J. Yeah. And then plug yourself with that song. Can because you hold this in front of me like this? Sure. Yeah, plug Russian yourself with that song. That you might as well suck his dick while you're at it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Thanks for having us on the podcast. Yeah. Hey, Fez, we're gonna get you to tap some ass. Yep. Maybe today, tomorrow, I don't know, but it will happen. Yeah. We're gonna get you to fuck. How's that sound to you, Fez? Yeah. How does it sound? Okay, sounds good. Um, but I appreciate you guys and uh, yeah. make sure to, you know, get your, your mental health checked out. Yes. Um, my guy over here, Dino. Yep. Dino, you scare me. So yeah. I don't know. I hope, uh, you know, you figure out your life too. Yeah. And um, Follow, check out the Patreon, which uh, we will have Morgan J on too. Nico Villacresis reach out to you. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's our camera guy. Good, good, good kid. Oh yeah, he wanted I credit I, on the pod. I'm doing his. So. Uh, I'm going to do his, his cast on uh, the yeah. 20, on the 23rd. It's going to be on the Patreon on okay, the 23rd. I thought Nico right had his own podcast. No, no, it's oh this one. It's God. this one. Oh, it is this one. Yeah, it's oh. this one. On the Patreon behind the pay the paywall. Of oh, okay, pay, we can get more in depth. I'll have more time yeah. to come on exactly. early. Exactly. You know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Let's have some fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Fez, we want you to know that you've been a great sport. I appreciate you, man. You, yeah, uh, real talk. Are yeah. you, you you're feeling okay? I'm sorry oh, if we were I'm too harsh, but you're in the crew, dude. All right. And now you, and, and listen, I'm gonna change your life. You listen to me. I'm going to change your life. I want to change his life. We gotta change yeah. your life. No, you, we're gonna all help to change your life. Yeah. Fez, yeah. right now, the collecting government money, the being overweight, it's not gonna lead anywhere good. Mm -hmm. You need to change. Yes. Yeah. We're all here for you. We're yeah. all here to support you. Yes. Yeah, dude. It starts with coming to my show on Thursday. There's a lot of chicks there. There's all this is the one off of Santa Monica, right? Yes, the one yeah, that you that spot, Morgan yeah. J was on. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. You got yeah. free tickets for you. Just come in and we'll talk. All right, all Sounds right, boys. Good. Follow the Patreon, the Leo Danny Show. Link below. Check out Morgan J's tour. MorganJ.com. 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 And we love you all. Peace. Peace.